Good morning mga kadilight! Join me in today's devotion which entitled How Esther Obtained Favor Esther 2.15 reads Now when the turn came for Esther, the daughter of Abihail, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her as his daughter, to go into the king, she requested nothing but what Haggai, the king's eunuch, the custodian of the women, advised, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all who saw her. When you know that you are greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved, you don't have to depend on your self-efforts. Look at the story of Esther, for example. When King Ahasuerus was looking for a new queen, the most beautiful women in the land were all brought into the palace. All the women were given the opportunity to adorn themselves with whatever they desired from the women's quarters before they were brought for an audience with the king. But when it was Esther's turn, she requested nothing but what Haggai the king, eunuch, the custodian of the women, advised. And look at the results. Esther obtained favor in the sight of all who saw her and the king loved Esther more than all the other women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen. That's in Esther 2.17. While the other women grabbed the best garments, perfumes, and accessories to beautify themselves, Esther did not rely on her own abilities, but submitted herself to Haggai, the official who had been appointed by the king to oversee the women. There was so much wisdom and humility in her decision. Can you see the beauty of Esther? She did not trust her own efforts. While the women tried to outdo one another by relying on their own efforts, Esther wisely submitted to the one person who would know the king's preferences best, and the results speak for themselves. This incident, this incident also demonstrates to us that Esther depended entirely upon the Lord's unmerited favor. When you depend entirely upon the Lord's unmerited favor, you are trusting Him and in a position of rest. Esther did not have to struggle. When she rested in the Lord and humbled herself, the Lord promoted her and exalted her above all the other beautiful women. God resists the proud and gives unmerited favor to the humble. That's in 1 Peter 5.5. 5. When you humble yourself and cease from your efforts to promote yourself and depend on Jesus alone, the Lord himself will be your promotion and increase. Like Esther, you will stand out in a crowd and obtain grace and favor with God and man. Do you know why the story of Esther is so important? Read the details in the book of Esther. Because Esther was promoted to become the queen, she was in a favored position to protect all the Jewish people in the kingdom of, from being killed. When the Lord promotes you, He gives you the influence to be a blessing to the people around you. There are no coincidences, only God incidents. The Lord will bless you to be a blessing 